before we do literally anything. I need you to go in the comments right now and tell me a game to play. Like, just tell me a game to play that you think a lot of people would like to see in the channel. Still gonna do some Elden Ring here and there. Of course, we're gonna do DLC when it comes. We can do all the, like, we have, I have a whole list of so many sick games coming out. But I also wanna play something else at the moment. I wanna do, like, a series and something, you know? Last year, we did, like, all of God of War, all of Darksiders, stuff like that. I I'm down to go back to, like, PS2, PS3, PS4 stuff. And most importantly, you don't even have to come. You also just go down there and then click like on a series you want to see because then I can see how many people actually want to see certain stuff. But yeah, anyway, welcome back to another episode of Elden Ring because we're actually going to do another playthrough, probably a quick one, a speedrun one, and I've made a little build. So we're going to get to that right off the intro. Eat some food, drink some water, and without further ado, let us begin. Man, oh man. There's so many good games coming out. Oh my god. Wait, why did that actually scare me? Why did I start here? Oh yeah, because I re-rolled. So, uh, right. I... I forgot I made a build. Well, kind of made a build. It's just literally a blood claw build. And then I was like, I'm going to do a jumping build. But then I was also like, I don't want to jump around. I just want to slap people up. So I took the jumping thing off. And now I'm left with a decision. I'll put on Shard of Alexander, I think. So as you can see, we have the Black Feather armor on, which increases jump attack damage. I've got my, uh, what are they called? Blood hook claws. Currently, I have Bloodhound step on. I don't think I'm gonna be using that. I might be using that. It's pretty cool. But the few ones I'm planning to do is that one, Wrapped of the Mists, which is the cool one, like, in Sekiro. But Beasts Raw, I'm honestly mostly, like, gonna do, I think. It's just insane. I tried out yesterday, and I was like, what the fuck is this damage? Like, so quickly? Does this... 742. <laughs> so just screaming at them. So Alexander one or the raw one here. So Alexander seems just more than a thing that specifies the goddamn thing. Okay. I mean, obviously you can put both on, but we're not going to do that. So the reason I have this on is of course, because that's literally like 20 levels of usage. We got the Rotten Winged Sword Insignia because obviously we're going to hit fast and hard. And the more hits, the better. And then this item right here. I didn't know how this item worked. I read on this on the wiki page or whatever. So it says blood loss in vicinity increases attack power. So I'm like, oh, in, in like my vicinity, my body, my temple. No, it just means if blood loss is in an enemy or on you recently, you get a buff, which is fucked up. So I can just go up and bleed a guy and then I just get a buff. Which, by the way, trick triggers, which I mentioned back in the day when I got seppuku for the first time, it triggers on seppuku. So you use seppuku, you just get a buff. It's fucked up. So we have that on because it's just like go in there, bleed a guy, get damage, bleed a guy more, slap him around a little bit. And yeah, overall, it should be a fun time. So I do not have enough FP to use Teach this run, but we always have enough to use Mimic. <laughs> and with this being a, a slight speed run, uh, that's probably the best choice. So the only things I gotta remember is that I actually wanna do Bogard's stuff, I think, because I haven't done any of his. I just kinda killed him. Also, begin journey. Yes, fuck it. Apparently I missed two assassination quests from Banal in Volcano Manor. I was wondering, actually. Keep forgetting about him, and then suddenly he's dead or gone because I kicked his ass somewhere else. So it's very likely going to be like a two episode run, this one, which is enough time for you guys to comment lots of stuff and for me to figure out some mod stuff for Elden Ring on the side as well. And dude, dude God of War Ragnarok comes out later this year too. Like Dark, oh yeah, Warhammer 40k Dark Tide comes out. I'm, I'm not going to do that on my channel, I don't think, but me and my friend Tango have been looking forward to that game for so damn long. Vermintide 2 is such a fucking banger of a game. Even more so, there are a lot of other little games coming out that I'm excited for. Anyways, put on both. Let's get going. I don't have Golden Vow anymore. We could also do that, but we won't. <laughs> it's so stupid. Also, I'm like, enemies are gonna hit fucking hard now, but so am I. Like, I don't give a shit. This build is gonna suck for the final boss, but final boss, we can do that. Run. Woo. Also, there's another actually Azure Wall that's good on this, I think. That's the one that gives you a buff. Oh, a couple ones. They are the Raw, the Cry, and some other one I remember seeing. We have chosen this Raw attack mainly because we have extremely limited range. So having something to aggro with or just do a little bit of damage from afar is nice. So take this. Uh, it doesn't seem like we have to do any prerequisite shit. 
for banal so we can just head straight into the castle yeah doing damage on enemies that can't bleed is gonna be kind of rough also i know that you can get that frost stomp because i've seen some like speed runs and shit or rather i've seen one and people use that frost stomp because it's just fucking ridiculous and stuff but uh i'm not sure i'm just thinking about the final fight you know ah what the f wait what I've never summoned anyone before. I just feel I've never noticed some of these. Wait, let's do that. Yes. Roger. My first ever summon guy. Maybe I should summon like real people. Put on some exalted flesh. Let's go. Time to slap the shit out of him. Hey. Bum bum. Bum. Oh, you like that? Boom. I don't care. I don't care. I do not care. Roger, you're gonna get over here and slap him or what? Whoa. Uh, that, that's still not bad without the claw talisman? What the fuck? Bum. 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 And oh shit. Uh-oh. Don't do it. Uh, uh. Slice. No. No. My only thing in my veins is kicking your shit up. Ow! Wait, why does he do solo damage? What the hell's going on? I took more damage than New Game Plus 2. I'm sure of it. Maybe this helmet is just overpowered. Thank you, Roger. I forgot you were there. So we're not doing like a, a fucking extremely optimized glitchful thingy. We're just going for it, you know? Open the gates. So to get in the capital, we got to get two kills, right? That's why I'm going for Godric here, because he's an easy little one. And of course, Renala, because we need to do Renala no matter what to reroll for next run at some point. But yeah, it depends on DLC, because maybe... What the fuck? Okay, scared the shit out of me then. Thing is, when DLC comes out, let's just say that DLC exists, it's in the development, and it's gonna be fucking awesome. That comes out, we could... Piss me off. You know, it depends on when, like... Can you just let me talk? It depends on when in the game it occurs, you know? Fucking beat the game first. Or maybe you gotta do some shit in Helic Tree and stuff. I hope modding is similar to Dark Souls 3. Else I'm gonna be shit in my pants. Because I'm like, maybe I'll fuck up my save file or something. This is, like, save file like this is for some reason a little bit important to me. Just because of the journey it's at. But I'm glad it's recorded. Uh, also, what are, what are we putting on this? What would be a good claw thing? Makes consecutive attacks grow stronger. It's three minutes duration? I'm down for that. I don't know what else to put in it. Mimic boy, get out here. Let's see how well we can do this. Hello, Godric the Grape Fruit. I'm dodging. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, bleed. Okay, so it does bleed. That's ridiculous. We'll drink this. Uh oh. No. Ah! You see that? That was actually really beautiful. Wait, can you kill him before that happens? I mean, I'm sure you can. If Mimic was hitting him there, we could have. And then you have nothing. He's oh, he's running in cutscene. <laughs> you just see him in the background? <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, yeah, wait. What are my stats even looking like? I have 94 decks. I put 94 exactly because it's... Oh, I put, I put 89 and then plus 5 and then plus 5 from Rune. Blood in itself is obviously very powerful for bosses that can bleed. But blood with Mimic is next level fucked up. I was even tempted to do a, a Frostbite. Like, put cold on these and have both blood and cold and then also spawn mimic like that's i feel like you could just chunk the shit out of millennia like that i would actually fight millennia if i could just go into a room and fight her but i can't best do all that shit it's not speed run then uh let's head straight to the key do renala to be from renala to divine tower of godric get that rune wait oh yeah we're here right now i forgot about you already but let's do your quest what the fuck are we doing so he's like okay wait you have to talk to raya first damn it also i miss raya raya yeah. Piss off, I'll crack you in half. And then buy this. Nice. What's next? You must initiate this. Buy. Okay. Do we just gotta rest? We gotta buy some prawns. I need to buy some prawns. Freshly cooked. Oh, that looks good right now, man. How many are we buying? It just says buy prawns. I'll buy two. That's plural. What do they do? Boost physical damage negation for a time. Wait, that's actually crazy. And for 600 only? Talk. Oh Thomas shit! Too, ain't you? Can you see it then? The guidance of grace. I mean, I can't see it at all no more. Makes no bloody sense anyway. Why some no name shithead like me should get caught in the lands between? Cruel bloody joke you ask me. Maybe something. How do these guys? How, like how does he sound in he's been Japanese? Been for a good long time. The earth tree. I'm saying. A uh, tree. Never met someone with a taste for brawn or can trust. Really? Good mates, I reckon. I'll be seeing you. Alright. Well, we got well, spread out. Oh, okay. Try it out. 
Oh yeah, that's that's good. So we're just friends now. That's sick. Wait, and then what? He later moves to Leyendel in the outer moat. Well, okay, so we just gotta continue all the way there. Easy. So plan is go through all this, do Ranala, TP back to the thing, go down, be eaten by a thing, get to Volcano Manor, get to Elsa's Plateau without Medallion, and well, already, literally, we can go to Leyendel. Hello there, little dragon man. Do I, I don't think I even need to kill you. Like, it seems that way, but you don't. You just take this and run. Brr. What the hell? I can't, I can't, I can't roll my tongue. That's, this sucks. Thr. Oh! Thr. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I've been unable to do this for like 30 years and I'm 24. Thr. How do you like, it feels like something you just know how to do, you know? Like voices and shit. But you can practice anything, almost. Easy peasy did that, let me in. But also wait, we gotta go to the Volcano Manor. I'll forget the second thing I said I was gonna do. Well, let's quickly go kick Ranala and then get sent to Elsa's Plateau. Then TP back, talk to Raya. And then from the Elsa's Plateau run there. Do we have to, wait. I don't even know. I hope she's there even though I don't get the medallions. Am I here with it looking different again? I swear, this doesn't happen on purpose. It's just foggy and rainy here now. If it was dark, foggy, and rainy, then it would be the best fit. The pace. Oh, oh the, I, I tried the best skip of all time. Didn't work. Hey, you. Go away. Oh, wait, I'm going to feel bad for this. This is going to be horrible for you. I'm going to do this immediately. And we're just going to go in there and destroy you. Yo, what up? Oh, I've been waiting for you for three days. Okay, uh... Dodge, I think. Bomb, dodge. And maybe a little bomb bomb. Oh boy, don't do that. <laughs> that just ducked. That was like the most stylish thing and wasn't on purpose. That was sick. While I was making this build, I was like... I was looking at all the Ash of War and stuff and I was looking up Google and shit. And I was very disappointed in the fact that there's like... That's one. There is one single Ash of War for Claws. Literally one, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe two. But yeah, it was really sad to see. It's the lifesteal one. All right, little guy. Bum. Do that to get a little bit of this on. Boom. Oh, okay. Can he parry a jump attack? I hope not. Then I'm gonna be fucked over then. Bum bum. Bum. Ow. And. No. Oh, the fuck are you up to? Get out. And wait, it's just literally time now. Skip that run. Well, I don't know where I am. I'm here. Yo. What's up? Ah. Uh. Next. Oh, he, oh, he's already going mental. He's just killing them. You <laughs> He's screaming at them. Actually, can't be stopped. Does that. That doesn't mean land on. I thought it landed on the damage. I've been dodging the entire time. Jesus fucking Christ. I should have done like Ninja Turtle guy. I'm literally Shredder right now. Well, how far can you get forward before she does a Sir Beam? Oh. Well. <laughs> Mimic with like fast melee based builds are just fucking stupid. Especially because we can get this much blood this early on. That's probably the main reason is because we have a 25 weapon, which requires me to hit someone like twice to bleed them first time. Very nice. That's done already. Now we go to the classroom. I right, don't destroy our spree of not falling. What if you do this entire run without falling to death once? Then it's truly the ultimate perfect run. Uh Another one for me there. I was very close, actually, though. All right. Time to get bored. Eat me. Yes. Good on G, I think. And there it is. And I just lost half a million. <laughs> now, we do got to fight gentlemen down there. We're going to inspawn our friend here, and it should be a good time. How is it going in here? Please don't kill me. Thanks. Mimic spawn is so fast as well. All right, let's kill this one first. Dodge. Uh, I'm spamming. You still half hit me. I think maybe we can actually solo though. He's losing no health. Can you stop spinning for a sec? Thanks. Bomb. Okay, now you're spinning. Where am I? Oh no, I can't win. Because I can't clear. <laughs> he's got eaten. <laughs> no. Well, oh, he's spam spotting. So he should get out. Ow. Take this. Oh, he's back. Nice. Bomb. He's not trying to eat us. 
virgin. And ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. while playing, I've been like looking at my other monitor where I have Raya's quest line on, right? And it says here, if you, after reaching Asa Pasto, you can find her in Lux Ruins if you didn't receive the medallion. Easy peasy. Also, we haven't even met Melina. She just didn't appear because I, I guess I didn't rest on her. I'm literally doing a buggered and banal speed run right now. <laughs> Those two guys specifically. Hey, Raya, my best friend. Exhausted her dialogue. Get back to the Altus Plateau. Oh shit, it's not Tibia. No, I don't think I can do that at this level. I want that to be a mod that just makes Tibia Marina the hardest boss in the game. Just adds like all sorts of weird moves onto- Oh shit, she's right there. Right, yeah, right, yeah. Fuck, I love her. Take hand. Yes. Holy fuck, we have some pace on us this time. We'll probably be able to finish the entire game faster than my speedrun without quests by doing two quests. Now, I hope the goddamn banal assassinations aren't like in Harlick Tree or anything. Okay, so I gotta do the two assassination quests first. I got scared that I had to do the fucking one of Hustler. Ha. 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 Yeah, good luck dodging all this. Oh, okay, wait a second. I was gonna not sack that. Oh, uh. It is free Runox though, which is actually very decent. Magma shot, rest, set the next, and here's this guy. Bob, Bob, haha, uh -huh. now you're scared. Bum bum. That's right. Nice. Jesus Christ. My reward is a blade. That should be good, because I would like two of them as well, because why not? Power stancing is like a must in this game. Fuck, it's so good. So we're going to do this Look now. We don't talk. I knew you had it in you. Take this. Thanks. A letter to Bernal. Wait, what? A special invitation to hunt some of the first tarnished who sat at the round table hold. Oh, shit. If you should accept, I'll next see you on the field of battle. I see. But I'm not banal. A written request from Volcano Manor addressed to Banal, disclosing the names of two tarnished to be hunted. Vagram the Raging Wolf and Errant Sorcerer Wilhelm Scream. Very happy that it's there and not like so far away. So, well, <laughs> already time for capital. What's up, sentimental knights? I'm leaving. Don't care about you. Don't hit me. Do not hit me. Good. Can you cheese them there? Like, if they don't go further than that, you can just stand there and do some magic on them and shit. So wait, Bogart is where he's in the... Is he going to be in the place where Dung Eater was, right? Because we read that, like, a while back. We know that Bogart's going to get killed by Dung Eater. But also, you can prevent that, it seems. But that requires extra steps, which we're not going to do. So wait, oh, it even says he's here. Nice. I suppose it's a good place for him. It's like crabs, too. Yo. Oh, he's actually cooking up crabs. Yes. You again, is it? Yeah, friend. Perfect bloody timing, actually. I got crab cooked up fresh. I do like crab. I actually really, really like crab. Like, a lot. Greatly... Why did I buy all this? <laughs> give me them. Oh, someone's giving me money from dying up there for some reason. I'll take more. You probably know. There's something I should probably tell you. You heard of the Dung Eater? I have. He's a madman. Has it out for everyone. Curses him. Goes round in his rank armor and all. You see him though. Stay well away. I was in the same jail as him once, so I know first hand. He's a god forsaken monster. Not just some petty dog like me. Alright, man. I appreciate it. He's a killer. Kills people and curses the souls. Does all sorts of shit to the corpses. Oh, okay, you don't to have to say all that. Forever. I ain't seen nothing more disgusting in all my years. I ain't ever been more scared neither. Rooted to the bloody spot while he did that to my friend. No, what? Who is your friend? What the fuck? Wait, now I don't want you to die. Well, I didn't want you to die in the first place. So he does this. He then warns us. Yes. Okay, so wait, I'm just reading this. So his quest does so you can get a seedbed curse. But if you already have another one, like of the other one that it kind of replaces, then you don't get anything for it. He just dies. But then you can also prevent it, which will just make him stay alive, I guess. And then he'll, yeah, he'll just have a shop at the capital. All right. Well, we don't need to do that then. I just wanted a little bit of more dialogue from him. That's all. Me? Come fight this guy, please. Why did I not go off? I forgot that we just go mental on here. Nope. Alright, you go in there. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, both sides. Like this shit. Take it. Take it. 
I used way too little stamina. Like, I had to literally reroll because I had too much endurance. Because of the amount of the, like, low amount of fucking stamina we used to hit. Give me all this again. Get in here. We already capital. More great runes. Right, so we, we need to go get that. I forgot about that. Ow, what the fuck? Scat the shit out of me. Ow! No, no. No, why, why am I present it? Were there always so many birds here looking at me? I don't remember. But we got the Godric rune. Why can't I do that? It's supposed to be two. I have both runes. Why can't I go there? I'm getting cocked by nothing. What's what's happening? I did this exact thing and it worked. I have two goddamn great runes activated. Maybe it's because I haven't talked- wait, maybe that's actually why. Because I haven't talked to Melina even once. She didn't spawn and talk to me. So I, I can't even go- <laughs> I can't even go to the round hole table. Melina, please. Yep, literally, I think this is the exact reason why I can't do it. Because I didn't talk to Melina. Two seconds later. Oh, this fine journey. Thank you for leaving me here. Moment of truth. Is it required to unlock round tape? It is. Okay, well, that's why then. That makes sense. It just didn't It didn't say it. Because they expect you to <laughs> have talked to Melina and rested once. I did lose five minutes of my run, though. So, actually unacceptable. So, we are here to do an assassination mission right now. Never been here during night. Holy shit. Hello, marshmallow fellas. Bob. Hey, buddy. I don't care. You're a tree. Oi, oi, oi. I'm here mainly for this. Give it to me. Jump up on a dragon. Get that grace. Jump here. Oh, yeah. It's in there. So there's going to be two at the same time. I mean, it's a 2v2 then. It's invade. Hello there. Oh, wait. No, it's a 2v2 already. Yeah. Nice. Let's go. Bob. Bob. Oh, it's got a little AOE on it. Oh, they, they, they trained those dodges. Look at that. Oh, this guy's coming for me. Wait, he has the armor on. I just realized. I've actually been wondering about this armor. And also about the Wolf Knight class that just disappeared on launch. Oh, shit. He has... Whoa. Black flame? Bum, bum, bum. Didn't stagger. Oh, he's got that big old sword there. That was not what I meant to eat. Fuck's sake. Uh, fucking hell, you're dead. He's literally the Elden Ring guy. Uh, we did it, man. Ah. Uh. Definitely hit my head on the floor. <gasps> and we actually get it. Yeah, that's the Elden Ring set. Then I take it we gotta head back to Banal. Hello there, buddy. Ah, I had hoped you'd soon return. I have the reward from Lady Tanith. Really? Take it. It's yours by right. So he just takes the credit for it. That's cool. Gelmir's Fury. Let us tread the path of the recusant together till we reach the miserable death that awaits us. Kind of sad because he invades us later. Report back. We just did that. Next step is defeat Rykard and exhaust his dialogue and then go there and then we're there. The rest is just stuff. We get the beast champion set where we have two of those. We got the Devourer Scepter. You also get something called Blasphemous Claw. I don't think I have that. Whoa. The Blasphemous Claw is a thing that can deflect the power of the Black Blade. So it's literally a weapon that's specifically made to parry Malekith. Well, that's so fucking cool. Well, we don't need that. And also, that's that's it. I did the two quests on my way on this little speedrun here. We still have good pace, so we should be able to finish this faster than my other one. It's also time for this. So do that. Immediately do this. Drink a little bit of that. And let's get in there. Dodge. Bomb bomb. Nope. Bomb bomb. Bomb bomb. And nope. Nope. That's a bit slower. Get in there, me. Uh. Shit. Pop, 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 pop. Ow. The fuck him with his shaft then, huh? He's screaming at him. Wait, my turn to scream. Ah. Ah. See, now, th that's insane damage right there. How much is that? It's about 500 per little mini scream like this. And it's just so spammable. It's... <laughs> Actually, really good. Very nice. On to Morgoth. I also talk to Melina, because we didn't do that in the entrance. Got ourselves a little arcane, and let's go. So yes, we're going to go stupid mode on him. So pop this three-minute buff. Pop one of these little fatties. Go in. Skip this. Skip that. Uh, get out of that. Oh, you're far away. What are you doing? Uh oh Nope. All right. Well, it's over for you. Like, you can't do shit. Ah, uh, uh. Bum. <laughs> so you're gonna be- Oh! <laughs> we, we went for it, we tried. 
Jesus fuck. <laughs> He's flying. And die. Shit. Jesus Christ. The amount of stacked attack buffs is dumb. So my flask, three minute buff, my fucking exalted flesh buff, lord of bloods buff, fucking insignia buff, radagon, extra damage, and then you could also put an extra buff onto my claws. In fact, I'm, I think I'm gonna do that. We could like scream at radagon, elden beast. That wouldn't be too bad. Got the medallion. I think it's this one, royal knight's resolve, right? Let's try it out. Whoa. And they light up too. I think it's just extra damage. And also that's going to have to do it for this episode of Elden Ring. We're going to have to finish it up next time. As well as my final thoughts on the game. Because next episode is actually the final one on this character. Until DLC probably. So if you enjoyed and want to see that last episode. Please leave a like. It helps out so much. Leave a funny comment too. I love reading them. And the game. As I said in the beginning. Please check out my Twitter second channel stream. All the links are in the description. Of course subscribe if you're new around here. And as always my name is Myth. And thanks for watching.